Hello, pre-calculus students. Mr. Duranko here with your second assignment. We are in section 7.1 on parabolas, and I have written on the board sort of our agenda for today. The equation sheet that you printed out last time has uh, on the right side uh, this equation, which is one of the equations for parabola, parabola that faces um, left or right or si sideways facing parabola. And the reason why I have that equation here is because for our example, this problem where we have to identify all of the location of all of these um, parts of the parabola, this equation looks just like the right side equation on our equation sheet. And so that's the first thing you'll need to notice with problems like this. What kind of parabola are we talking about? The one on the right side of your equation sheet, the sideways parabola, or the one on the left side of your equation sheet, the up and down parabola. This is the sideways parabola. You can see the y's line up and the x's line up. And so uh, we're going to use the equation sheet uh, as a guide for identifying all of these uh, parts of the parabola. That's all we're going to do today. For the vertex, if you look at your equation sheet, it says h comma k. And so h would be negative 1, and k would be 3. And so using the equation sheet, we get the vertex very quickly. The focus, it says h plus p comma k. Now, h plus p, h we know is negative 1. And now p, we have to find p. Well, you can see that the negative 8 here is in the position where the 4p is. So that must mean that 4p equals negative 8. And if that's true, then p equals what? Negative 2, right? So uh, the focus is h plus p, so negative 1 plus negative 2, which is negative 3. And then comma k, so the focus is... See, the k is 3, so the focus is at negative 3, 3. I'm just using the formulas on your equation sheet on the right side. The axis of symmetry, y equals k. That's what it says on the equation sheet. y equals k, k is 3. And so we got that one quite easily. Finally, the directrix, this says h equals, and then h, uh, x equals h minus p. h is um, negative 1, and then minus, and p we said was negative 2, right? And so negative 1 minus a negative 2, that's going to be a positive 1, and so the directrix equation is x equals 1. So, we found all of these characteristics of the parabola using the formulas on the equation sheet. I hope this is enough to get you through a couple of problems that I'll give you to try on your homework. And then uh, we'll use all of these things to graph this parabola in the next uh, video. And so until then, take care, stay safe, and I'll see you in a few days. Bye.